The average person eats about 1,996 pounds of food a year, eats 4 pounds of food a day, while releasing a minor 320 pounds of bodily waste, or yes, poo, a year. But all of this just hells in comparison. As someone who loves running and once decided to run in an excruciatingly long 200 mile relay race, where part of my run was going up a creepy dirt road through a forest at 2am, I want to talk about one man, one hero, one monster, who smashes all of these yearly averages in under a single day, nay, in under a single hour, whose life is one long horror show of consumption, calories, and by God, waste beyond what most of us could simply fathom. The Flash. Setting out, we come to what is likely everyone's favorite part, eating. The average person eats nearly an elephant worth of food a year, which includes 31 pounds of cheese or otherwise 630 pounds of dairy products like milk, yogurt, and ice cream, 85 pounds of fat and oils, 185 pounds of good old meat, 197 pounds of grain, 273 pounds of fruit, and 415 pounds of vegetables a year. Despite all the food we eat, we spend a surprisingly small amount of time actually consuming it, and this is good news for a certain hero. All the way back in 2011, a research team discovered that on an average day, people 15 and older generally spend 67 minutes a day eating and drinking, with this number increasing by 34% if they're doing something else when eating. Even better is we spend 35 out of those 67 minutes actually chewing our food, with it taking 2-3 to three seconds for us to then swallow it into our stomachs. Then there's the crucial matter of how much energy or otherwise calories are we actually burning out of what we eat. Most of the calories we eat are burned passively, meaning our bodies are using 60-75% to 75 of what we eat just to exist, more specifically to fuel our basic function functions such as breathing, maintaining our body temperature, and pumping blood around our bodies, commonly being referred to as our resting metabolic rate. And consider this, when you eat, your body mixes whatever you ate and drank with oxygen to create that energy. So on average, 10% of the calories we ingest are used to digest more food. So the more frequently you eat, or in the Flash's case, have to eat, the more calories you'll burn digesting. But probably the biggest factor in how many calories you burn each day is your muscle mass. Muscle tissue requires more oxygen and thus more calories to simply exist than body fat. And taller and heavier individuals like our 6 foot tall Flash burn more calories than shorter individuals simply because they have more to go around. But finally, we get to everyone's favorite thing exercise. Any movements such as walking the dog, playing tennis, or my personal favorite, doing backflips, makes up the rest of the calories your body burns each day. But before we get to the Flash's ridiculous planet-destroying appetite, there's one more major problem we have to discuss. Poo. Of all the things that we could talk about, this might be the weirdest, and will end up being quite shocking in just a few minutes. You see, both men and women have been studied by people, paid to research their bathroom habits, as having to release their waste once per day, weighing about 500 grams. And I swear this is going to be important, even going so far as to record the time it takes a human to do this, being able to shoot their waste out at a speed of 2 centimeters per second, lasting for a total duration that is uniform across the entire animal kingdom, regardless of the person's or animal's size, of 12 seconds to get the business done once it's started. According to our calculations, generally our waste weighs about 15-20% to 20 of what we eat. This results in a whopping lifetime total of 24,320 pounds of waste produced by males and 25,920 pounds of that glorious glorious brown stuff being released by females or the weight of three adult hippos because women generally live longer. So if you're not completely grossed out and managed to make it this far, get ready cause I'm about to show you what being the fastest man alive and someone that my lazy self wishes they were whenever having to take a long drive would actually do to our lovely planet. According to the DC Universe, the Flash is 6 feet tall and weighs 195 
75 pounds of solid, calorie-burning super muscle. So while a lipid-dense flash would be a whole lot less destructive, this means that the flash would burn 260 calories per 5,000 steps, or somewhere around 135 calories per mile ran. Except there's one problem. We really have no idea how many running steps the guy takes in an average day, with no Fitbit or Wayne Satellite being able to track him in real time as he runs from Central City in Missouri to Egypt and back in a few seconds. And not to mention the faster you run, the more calories you burn. Keeping things simple, let's look at an average non-world ending day for The Flash. In shows like Justice League Unlimited, Flash likely runs to work in Central City, with the average American commute being 41 miles. Being a forensic analyst, The Flash likely gets the average 7,000 steps in before running around Central City at night fighting crime, which has the same population and perhaps relative 372.4 square mile size of San Diego. This could see The Flash running a rough estimate of anywhere from 300 to 1200 miles a day as he races around the city's downtown or to its far-reaching edges and back, stopping whatever crime or bomb has been placed. And we can assume The Flash is running whatever distance is required within a couple seconds, meaning that for an average day, The Flash would burn 46,035 to 167,535 calories. That is, if he ran as fast as a regular person. Except he's running much faster than the average person, meaning that he would burn even more calories. For the purpose of this video, we can assume that Flash's average speed is 52% of his max speed, a number that has been found to be people's average speed. And being made of mass, the Flash's fastest possible speed has to be right under the speed of light, or 185,999 miles a second, making his average speed right around 96,719 miles a second. This means that the Flash on a leisurely, calorie-restrictive trot would be burning somewhere around 659,623,580 calories to 2,400,565,500 580 calories a day. Which, if the Flash has to do anything more, like his usual runs around the globe, this number quickly goes up into the hundreds of billions, which matches closely to how much The Flash says he has to eat. In the comics, The Flash tells Green Arrow, on an average day, he eats about 50 times his body weight to keep up with all the calories he burns running around, or otherwise 9,750 pounds of food, which comes out to five years worth of food for the average human per day. To put this in perspective, the average or medium-sized grocery store has been calculated at having 5,000 pounds of food at any given time, or 347 billion calories, causing our Flash to completely clear out one to two grocery stores every day of the week, or upwards to 3,558,750 pounds of food a year. But what about the world-ending days that aren't just another Tuesday, the likes of which see the Flash running laps around the globe and nearly instantly transporting an entire town in microseconds from being vaporized as he hits his top speed. Well, to run just one lap around the planet, a distance nearly 25,000 miles long, the Flash still running at his average speed would burn 48,167,996,380 calories or 89,618,520,000 calories if he hits his top speed for just one lap. And oh boy, Boy, has Flash had days where he has to circle the globe and back, endlessly running multiple laps around the globe so a bomb doesn't explode, to save towns from nuclear explosions, or to rescue people from tsunamis. In fact, after joining the Justice League, a day in the life of Flash sees him running all around the globe, extending Flash's calorie consumption to upwards of half a trillion. Keep in mind, much of what he eats on average is consumed just to keep up his base metabolism. How much more, how many stores, hot dog stands, restaurants does he have to go through when he starts getting up to half a trillion calories burned? In a nutshell, this means that Flash, this 
poor man has to keep eating and eating at such a staggering rate that on a globe-trotting week or month, he would easily wipe out store after store all across North America, South America, or pretty much any country he decided to stop in. You would show up to your local grocery store and all of it would just be gone. Gone to feed one man who lives in a perpetual torment of agonizingly having to stuff his face everywhere he goes, never being able to get quite enough as Batman calls to tell him he's needed in China, Africa, Sydney, no, now the Himalayas. Stores, entire companies would go bankrupt because how could he ever hope to pay for all of it? But that's not even the most agonizing part. No, that comes after he eats. After he recovers from a day on the job, there's no bathroom, no city sewage system in the world that can handle this man. Thanks to his speed, we can assume that he's blowing the human chewing, swallowing, and even excretion average out of the water, doing his business at missile-like speed. On an average day of eating, the Flash would release about 1,560 pounds pounds of poo. But what about his non-regular stay-at-home days, when he's busy doing Justice League missions around the globe? This would see Flash going from daily dump truck levels to something else entirely. Something ranging in the ecological terrorist zone, as Flash releases anywhere from 7 to over 80 billion pounds of brown goodness on a daily basis, destroying entire ecosystems, forests, polluting sea life, wherever it is that he decides to do his business. And if he does it in a far off desert, he still has to run all the way back home, therefore consuming more calories in an endless cycle. But if none of this was very interesting, then I saved a really interesting fact for last. Due to Flash's insane metabolism, it actually makes it harder for him to put on new muscle or weight for that matter. So unlike Batman, whose crazy diet plan we previously went over, the Flash can literally eat anything he wants without ever having to worry about gaining unwanted weight. Consider watching this video to see more science theories about our favorite characters. See you in the next one.